a very good morning to one and all. Respected Manager, Reverend Sister Christine, Principal Sister Edwina, our Primary Supervisor Sister Prasanna, Teachers and all my dear friends. Today we have gathered on this virtual platform to celebrate May Ward Week. On behalf of Class 4A, I, Reet Thakur, would like to extend a warm and hearty welcome to one and all. We begin our prayer service with a prayer dance. Mary Ward was born in Yorkshire, England in 1585 at the time of severe persecutions of Catholics. Mary Ward was an English Catholic nun whose activities lead to the founding of Congregation of Jesus and the Institute of Blessed Virgin Mary. From the very earliest of our foundress, Mary Ward's life, love for Jesus, and trust in Mother Mary formed the foundation of her spiritual life. Hence, from the time of Mary Ward, the Congregation of Jesus and all its members have been distinguished by a particular reverence from the Mary, the Mother of Jesus. As we are in the midst of Mary World Week, we pray to God Almighty to bless us all with wisdom so we can follow the virtues of Mary World and implement them in our lives. Some of my friends will present some of the values of Venerable Mary World. Sincerity Venerable Mary World envisage a world in which we communicate and act with personal integrity. Mary Ward believed that we should be such as we appear and appear such as we are. Freedom. The quality of freedom was most important to Mary Ward. She believed that an inner freedom, openness towards others and the right of everybody to freedom in all aspects of life is crucial in the development of righteous community. John, 
Venerable Mary was sense of humor and deep joy made her rise above all difficult sense of thing that came her way. Joy overflows from the heart of women who are free, just and sincere where the views of Mary were. Excellence. Mary Ward wishes for us to constantly challenge our mindset and the unjust ways of the world. In this way, we are continuously seeking to improve ourselves in the eyes of God and seeking to impact the lives of others in a positive way. a small skit. The characters of the skit are Masumi as the narrator, Rihanna as Mary Ward, Aradna as Elizabeth and Akam Preet as Barbara. In 1595, one day a fire broke out in the mansion. All were busy putting out the fire. Mary and her two little sisters were trapped. Today is the feast of our lady. No harm will come to us. Come Elizabeth, Barbara, let's say the rosary. Soon they were saved. What I teach you, my son, always remember what I tell you to do. My teaching will give you a long and prosperous life. Never let go of loyalty and faithfulness. Tie them round your neck. Write them on your heart. If you do this, both God and man will be pleased with you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember, the Lord is everything you do and He will show you the right way. This is the word of the Lord. Characters of the skit are Masumi as the narrator, Shriya as the messenger, Aradhya Renu Kuntala as Lady Bakthor, Aradhya Gaude as Mary Ward, Sara as Aunt Margaret, Yavi as Vivel, Samriti as Mary's father, Sanskriti Kadam as Mary's mother, Noel as priest. At Harwell at the age of 13. I have a letter for you, Mary, from your father, but I am told not to give it you. distressed but after much prayer and seeking light to know God's will she received first holy communion at the age of 15 while she was staying with aunt Bapthor. Margaret please tell us a story yes do all right do you know before the persecution started England had so many convents where sisters prayed much. When the poor lay the holy life, this happened in one of those convents. Listening to Margaret, a great desire to become a religious arose in Mary. She prepared herself for this very carefully from then onwards. As days passed by, she no longer could hide this desire from others. In the meantime, many young men wanted to marry her. How beautiful!
beautiful she is. Such fine quality too. I will marry her and her alone. Mary, never is the only help to Westmoreland wishes to marry you. Dear father, I wish to give myself only to God. I do not wish to marry. I want to join a convent in France. Dear child, you are so frail. How can you stand the austere life of a man? Mary, Edward Neville is the only heir to that Asian kingdom. If you marry him, you will be able to do much for the Catholic Church. Dear child, you have a duty to marry him. If you refuse, he too will give up everything. And then what will happen to the Catholic Church in Northern England? Now, O oh Lord, you must answer me. God did answer. A few days later, during Mass, Father Holtby accidentally overturned the chalice after consecration. Precious blood is spilled. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Later, I will never hold your religions desire, but I will help you as much as I can. At last, her father gave his permission and Mary set out to France. Dear Lord, bless the sick and needy people. Give them strength and courage to face the difficulties of life. Guide and protect them. Be with them always. Our response will be, O oh Lord, hear our prayers. Dear God, we pray that may all of us live in peace. May we understand each other. We develop trust and faith in God. Our response will be, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, thank you for my home and for my family. Thank you for the love you gave the each one of us so we can share it, it with others. Help us live a happy life. Our response will be, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, we as children come before you today. Be our strength and our guide. Help us to overcome any bad situation that may come our way. Our response will be, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, we ask you to bless all the sisters and teachers of our school. We thank them for their unconditional love and support they shower upon us. Guide, protect and be with them always. O oh Lord, our response will be, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, O Lord, for your merry word. Till now we see the wonder of your love. You filled her with gifts of verity and trust to lead young people to the home above. A woman led by God's Spirit, listening to his inspiration, strong in the midst of affliction, daring to walk a new We see the wonder of your love. You filled her with gifts of verity and trust to lead young people to the home above. A woman with courage and foresight, hoping and trusting in the Lord, joyful in the service of others, leading them all to the home. We thank you, O Lord, for your merry words. Now we see the wonder of your love. You filled her with gifts of verity and trust to lead young people to the home above. A woman sincere and fearless, optimistic lover of you, jealously caring for the needy, bringing them back to the truth. We thank you, O Lord, for your merry word. And now we see. Guide 
to assist us, teaching them to walk in love. With constancy and fear we're in solving, we shall glorify God. Thank you, O Lord, for your merry one. And now we see the wonder of your love. You filled us with gifts of victory and trust to lead your people to their home above. We thank you, O Lord, for your merry one. And now we see the wonder of your love. You filled us with gifts of victory and trust to lead your people to their home above. Morning to one and all. Respected manager, Reverend Sister Christine, Principal Sister Edwina, our primary supervisor, Sister Prasanna, teachers, and my dear students. I would like to thank our supervisor, Sister Prasanna, for giving me an opportunity to share my views about Venerable Mother Mary Ward. Mary Ward was born into an upper class Catholic family. She was the eldest daughter of Mama Duke Ward and Ursula Wright. Mary Ward herself possessed all the qualities of a true Yorkshire woman. Courage, deep faith, cheerfulness and a forthright common sense. Our Mary Ward values of sincerity, freedom, joy, truth and excellence a seek to encourage all community a freedom of spirit, a sincerity in all our communication, a strong sense of personal integrity, a passion to act with justice in all we do, a discriminating attitude to truth. Mary Ward was an inspirational leader, believing passionately that women in time to come will do much and that a strong education focused on girls and women would create seekers of truth and doers of justice to take action to improve the world for others. I would like to conclude by saying that we should have strong trust and faith in God. Due to this, our life becomes meaningful and we start thinking positively. We start spreading positivity around us. I thank my dear students and parents for their efforts, support and cooperation in making this beautiful prayer service. Thank you. I invite our supervisor, Sister Prasanna, to sum up our prayer service. Hearty congratulations to Gita Miss and the students of class 4A for preparing very nice prayer service on Mother Mary Ward. It was really well planned, well organized. Beautiful videos, dear parents and students, you have taken a lot of trouble in taking the videos, well done. Gita Miss, you have really planned well the prayer service. Congratulations to you all. May God bless you. Thank you.